Hey guys, it's me Christina and I have a I have my August wrap up and September TBR ish like I don't know if I'm gonna read them. Like sometimes I change my mind. So the first book I read this month was Delirium by Lauren Oliver. This is the first in the series and this is a about it's this like it's about a world that love is like evil and like you get this like procedure. Um and it was really cool. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, and I have a review for it. I have a review for all these books. Then the next book I read was Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, and this is the second book in the series. I reread Anna, and then I went straight to this, and it was really good. Like, I loved this book. It was so cute. It's about a girl named Lola who loves to do costume instead of, like, clothes, and she's just really cool. Like, I love her. And Cricket is adorable. Like, I love them together. They're just so cute. And it was just a really good book. And you just feel, like, really happy while reading it. It was just, like, I was, like, in the contemporary mood this month. Even though I read, like, one, like, sad contemporary. But it was really good. So I gave it this 5 out of 5 stars. I think I just said that, but I'm not sure. Uh, last book, like, last physical book I have right here is, um, If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Um, this was really good. I saw the movie also, and that was really good, too. This book made me cry. It made me, like, swoon in, like, parts with, like, Adam and Mia. Like, I loved this book. It was so good. Like, the ending just, like, made me cry. I really want to read where she went very soon. Um, and the movie was really good. Like, I want to see it again. Like, it was so good. Um, and the last book I read was a library book, and it is This One Summer by Mariko Tamika. And this was a graphic novel, and I liked it. Um, it w I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the books that I read. Like, I liked them. My favorite one was a tie. Like, I'm going to do a first and second place. Like, first place is Lola. Second place is If I Stay. So, these books were my favorites. And let's do currently reading. My Life with the Walter Boys by Ali Novak is really good. Like, it's just so cute. It's like a contemporary, it's like fluffy but sad at the same time because of what happened to her family. It's not a spoiler, it's on the back. God, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm good. If I sneeze, I'm going to have to re-record this and then I'm going to cry. Uh... Isla in the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. This is, I think this is pretty much the last book in the series. And I'm kind of sad, but I really want to know. It just, like, I hope it, like, winds up very well. And, like, it works very well together. And I am on page 29. I'm on page 107 in my life with the Walter boys. And I'm reading Indigo Spell still and I really like it um I'm on page something like I moved my bookmark and I can't oh here it is 237 uh and I really like it so let's do TBR let's do an ebook TBR first uh Defiance by CJ Redwin is supposed to be really good Epic Reads always talks about how good this series is so I really want to get to it they call this a, like, fantasy dystopian. It's really weird, but these covers are really cool. Like, this isn't black and white, but I, I'm pretty sure it looks really cool in color, too. Uh, so TBR, um, let's do some library ones first, and then uh, Solace by Gail Carrier. This is the first in the Parasol Protective series, and I'm super excited to read it. 
the Sea of Tranquility by Kaja Malay. This is like hardcover. And um, Fuck with the Princess by Cassandra Clare. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye guys.